Hello people, Jeff the King here, and welcome to this new series of Minecraft. I'm calling this Build and Talk. And, well, what this is, it's going to be a series of clips where I just build stuff in creative mode, and I'm doing that because in the background I'm going to be talking about serious matters, things that are affecting me in my life, things that are affecting you in your life if you want to give me, you know, something you'd like me to talk about personal to you and I can give my advice and opinions, I can do that as well. But obviously to start off with today it'll be something along the lines of stuff that's happening in my life currently and stuff that's going wrong. Well, there's not really anything in particular that's going wrong for me, but there's things going wrong for other people around me which is then affecting me, which well, be warned now, This it gets into some serious crap, there's this. If you don't want to be listening to things that are uh, of, you know, I can't really explain it. Uh, it it's going to get serious is the only way I can think of explaining it. Uh, if you don't want that kind of stuff, this is not going to be the series for you. This is going to be a more personal thing, so you guys can understand more about me and about, about my life, and I can give advice to people if people have problems they want to go on. And obviously I'm not a, a professional or anything, but I like to think that I can give good advice. I've given advice to loads of friends in the past and most of the time because I like to be a very direct person. I like to solve things directly to the point and get it over and done with and sorted. Most of the times they work out. Some Sometimes they don't. Like I say, I'm not a professional at anything. I can't say that I am and I'll never try and say that I am, but uh, I'm going to give it my best shot anyway. So the thing that I have to talk about today is things that are happening to my brother at the moment and don't get me wrong I have long since abandoned all hope for my brother I honest to god can say I hate him hate is a very strong word and people should never use it lightly but I honest to god hate my brother I dislike everything about him everything about his being makes me angry and that's because he's not he's never really done anything to affect me personally per se but the things he's done has affected the rest of my family to the point where it leaves my mother in tears she she always says she's crying cuz she's frustrated not cuz she's sad and i i say bullshit to that every single time but obviously a child to see their mother crying kind of leaves them a bit well upset and at the same time pissed as fuck is all I'm going to say. Oh yeah, this is going to have swearing in it as well guys, just spoiler there. Uh, basically he has had this on and off long time girlfriend at the moment. Her name is Sammy, his name is Sam. It gets confusing, trust me, don't worry. Um, and she just, she's a vile human being is all I can really say about her. She manipulates everything around her, gets him into constant shit all the time simply because he has an argument with her and she fears that he might leave. She's controlling, possessive and everything you don't want in a woman, basically. Uh, and he, being one of those suckers in love, keeps running back to her every single time and you, you may say that people in love do stupid things but honest to god you have no idea some of the shit she's done and any person right in the head would have long, long, long since abandoned her. I, I I, certainly would have at the first hurdle. I mean, I made mistakes similar to him. I fell for a lass also called Sammy. Uh, it gets confusing, I know. Um, and I kept running back to her over and over again, and it always failed. And unlike him, I learned. I, I stopped myself going back to her and... I stopped all contact and I've been trying my best to stop all contact anyway she still tries to talk to me every so often and I, I I do my best to ignore her because to be honest it's best for her and it's best for me so but he doesn't seem to be able to grasp this he doesn't seem to be able to realize that sometimes you just need to call it quits and get away and you guys may think well sometimes you know people run back to the same person over and over again that's fine but I haven't got into what she's done yet well number one the first thing is uh, ages ago I can't remember how long sp specifically get your English there Jeff uh, she accused him of beating her and beating her to the point of losing a child which was lies I will tell you that he has anger problems he knows he has anger problems he has held her violently, I'll say that, but he has never struck her, ever, I, I know for a fact. I, I may hate my brother, but I know he isn't 
one prone to violence simply because he's the biggest coward in the world. I mean, honest to God, he the only reason he must go back to this woman is because he's a coward. There is no other way to describe him other than an absolute coward. And she lied about that, and yet he still ran back to her. Uh, he abandoned basically the rest of his family to run back to her many, many a times. My mother has many times told him that she would disown him if he goes back again. She never does, because that's what mothers do. But she keeps telling him over and over again, and yet he still runs back to this woman. And the reason I'm bringing this up now, uh, the most recent of all the things, and this is where shit gets really serious and disgusting, trust me, you just be ready. Uh, she has, well, he had a laptop about a couple of years back, or a year back, something like that, and as like a keep, you know, a fail safe if he ever tried to leave, she went and downloaded kiddie porn on there, and unfortunately all her plans backfired because he went and then traded this laptop in, he wanted the cash, he got rid of the laptop. And because of that, her failsafe then turned into a full-blown scale. He was getting arrested for having this on his laptop. And things got even worse when, from a random argument that wasn't even anything to do with this, yet this is right, he walked out on her because of something else, not because of this. Uh, the argument, and he walked out and started living in his car, and because of that, she then convinced his daughter to say to the police that he had touched her inappropriately. It's very awkward saying stuff like that. You, I, It makes you sick trying to just say it, come out with the words. Uh, you have to put it as nicely as possible at the same time, it still rots you to, uh, rocks you to the core and... Uh, it's... I don't know, there's just something about it that's just vile and a person being able to say that about another human being in lies, we we know this is lies, trust me, uh, is bad enough, but then to say that about the father of your child, there's just something not quite right there. I don't think of it any way I could put it other than that. So, yeah, he's now in a predicament where he has been arrested, they have fully charged him with it, even though, as I'm saying, we know for a fact he hasn't done it, simply because, even though I hate him with a passion, there is no way he would do anything like that to any child, let alone his own child. There is one thing he was good at before he met this woman, and that's being a father. He was an excellent father to the point where social services prayed him, uh, prayed him, praised him, and he, everyone knew he was an excellent father and he would never do anything like that. And the daughter actually that got convinced to say this then actually did say she was lying later on, so even more reinforces the fact that we know he hasn't done this. But yet the police are still charging him and still arresting him for this. Uh, all the statements my mother has given have been put aside because she's his mother, so they can't be taken into account, even though she basically lines out how bad this woman is and that she has lied like this in the past and that her family, don't get, her family are just as bad. They intervene all the time whenever something goes wrong between him and her, to the point of scratches on his car, scratches on my mother's car, flat tyres. I mean, ridiculous stuff. They're, they're like children, basically. They're, they're basically bullies, and bullies is going to be another subject I'll be getting into on one of the other... Ugh, oh, trying to talk too fast there. In one of the other episodes of this, so that's probably next episode. So I'll not go into that, but they're basically bullies, and... Yet he still runs back to her all the time, and today was the day that my mother told me about the fact that he has now actually been officially charged with this and that they've disregarded all her statements, and she's going to go behind my brother's back and do some shit in the court to make it, just to put everything in the air, to make everything, well, everyone there have doubts, because if you heard about the family and this woman, you, well, like you are right now, you'd know that she is just manipulating everyone and causing shit because it suits her to do it so I, I, I don't really have anything constructive to say on this topic, It's this, this one is a bit unique with the fact that I just needed to get it off my chest really, it's something that I needed to say to the thing and she's out now meeting my brother to talk about him getting convicted simply because 
she was going to invite him around to the house. My stepdad has none of that. My stepdad will not allow him back in the house whatsoever, which is too right on him. But my stepdad's out all day today, so she was going to have him around to the house, but as soon as she told me this news, I told her that he best not come around to this house because then I'd be having words, and she knew for a fact that is <laughs> pretty bad news because I very, very, very rarely intervene in my brother's matters. I really allow I, I just stay quiet when he's around i ignore him when i bump into him in the street for the most part and i generally try to just shun him in every way i can because that's the kind of brother he now is to me but i told her that it, today was going to be the day where i would actually say something to him so she's now out meeting him instead of bringing him to the house which is why i'm talking about this now because I don't really want to talk about this while she's in the house. I don't think she would like this to be up on YouTube, to be honest. But it's my YouTube, it's my say, and it's affecting everyone. And obviously, it's not anything... I, I, you guys know that, uh, as I've said, he, he hasn't done this. We know for a fact he hasn't done this. He, Before he started putting this woman above his children, was one of the best fathers I've ever seen. It's the only strong point he ever had for himself. And this has just got to the point of ridiculous, so I had to say something about it. I guess that's the only thing I can really say about it. The I've got a lot of constructive stuff to say about the bullies next episode. I, I to be honest, I have more personal experience with it, and I want to be able to give advice to people. So if you have ever had experience with bullies and want me to say something about it next episode, then put it in the comments of this episode, and I will do. And anything, anything you want me to talk about, and I can talk about in a future episode, at least the best I can. I can't say it's going to be perfect. I can't say I'll give the best advice in the world. Yeah, I can't say I'll give the best advice in the world, but I'll try my best. I'll do whatever I can, and hopefully make some things better for you. Uh, I guess this is more of an episode for me to get advice off you guys. Really, I don't know what else to do other than to let things go. I can't really influence a court's decision. I can't stop this woman doing what she does I do the only thing I know this sounds harsh that would stop her is probably death but obviously no one uh, I wouldn't do that <laughs> as tempting as I as it is as it sounds I, I wouldn't do that I wish I could but no um it's a kind of a threshold that you never come back from if you do something like that and plus I don't really want to waste my life in prison and that's another thing, actually, thinking about it. That if he does get charged and arrested with this, it's not really her having him arrested. It's basically her causing him a death sentence is the only really way I can think of it. Because, sure, it's not as bad as the films and TV predicts. Uh, predicts is not the right word, uh, as they show. I'll just use that. It's not the long word I was trying to say, but it's a good enough. But people that are in prison as kidly fitters are basically shunned by every other inmate there, the murderers and all the other people they are the lowest of the low by all regards, I mean even murderers have kids <laughs> there's no way to go around that it's true, and sure he's not going to get shanked in the showers like you would in a film, but it's basically like going through high school again and we'll go back to the bullying thing here it's basically going through high school again We've all been bullied for five years, which, well, by at people that can actually throw a punch, unlike bullies in high school. <laughs> so, yeah, because my brother isn't the most strong-willed person in the world, and by that I mean probably the least willed person in the world, he probably wouldn't last. I haven't told my mother what I think of that, I, I honestly don't think he would actually last to the point of getting out, I think he'll probably end up killing himself that's really my thought on things and it's saddening in a way that my brother would do something like that but at the same time it it just angers me because the real thing is how much that hurt my mother and yeah but this is just a series for me to get my uh, opinion out there on things and to uh, the more serious side of things. I wanted to put this in with my other YouTube series, just put it in on episodes, but I didn't think it would fit right, so I thought I'd make my own series on it. And next time I'll have a bit more constructive stuff to say rather than just uh, getting stuff off my chest. Please leave a like, please comment, please subscribe if you haven't already. This is Jeff the King, signing